To the person who keeps commenting under my videos that they want Lantern for the next Pokemon animation, I'm never doing it and you're the reason why. Rivalries are cool. Whether it be an anime or rap beef or the entirety of Western Europe for some reason, mutual competition has been used to fuel the geniuses of every generation for a very long time now. And this can happen anywhere in sports and politics and of course art. But my personal favorite thing about rivalries is the fact that all rivals, while they're competing, while they're going head to head, have to learn from each other. Something something Naruto quote. But you can find rivalry and competition in almost anything, which means you can also learn from almost anything. For example, about 98% of all of my followers have come because of the Poke National series, and I'm pretty certain that a lot of those followers also know the Poke Earth series created by Enlarge Kai. Now, while me and Kai both have the same kind of idea when we're making our videos, it's obvious that our executions are very different. One of the biggest differences between me and Kai's work is that Kai's stuff is usually way more animated than mine. While his stuff is a lot more dynamic and moving around, my stuff kind of sits there and and doesn't do much, or at least they used to. It's because I've been watching Kai's videos and his view count that I've started to add a lot more action to my work. The biggest one that I've done so far is in the Sandshrew episode, where it starts off with the cracking of the ground before it emerges out of it. Watching Kai's work has definitely influenced me to have a lot more action within my videos. And depending on when this video comes out, I might be working on an even more action-packed episode featuring Lucario soon, so get ready for that. And it doesn't even stop there. Y'all know the Pokemon conservationist? Well, his work is also similar to me and Kai's. However, his work actually has real footage that he composites Pokemon onto, and the way his camera is angled to feature his animations is very influential on the stuff that I do as well. You may have noticed that I like to place Pokemon in high areas, specifically on ledges where the camera is angled up at them. Well, that's something that I learned from the Pokemon conservationist. These types of influences are very important and really help with the competition aspect of artists going against each other. So big shout out to Enlarge Kind, the Pokemon conservationist. I'm stealing y'all stuff and there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, bye!